This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Vanessa Villaforte with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. A bill for the state to recognize Juneteenth as a state holiday heads to second round debate. State Senator Justin Wayne introduced the bill. It would have replaced the existing Arbor Day state holiday, but under an amendment added to it, Arbor Day would be kept as a state holiday. Last year, President Joe Biden signed a bill making Juneteenth a federal holiday. The legislature is still debating major changes to the budget, which includes over 50 million to fund a canal from Colorado to southwest Nebraska. Debate on the budget started Tuesday morning and is being filibustered by Senator Justin Wayne. And Wayne is pushing a major revitalization project for North and South Omaha. While that would be funded by federal tax dollars, that's not included in the budget. He says he wants to pass the entire budget, including the federal money, all at once. Wayne is seeking $450 million of the over $1 billion the legislature can spend. The Appropriations Committee decided to spend $150 million. And I'm 3 News Now meteorologist Chris Swain. Mild tonight, all things considered, or at least not as cold. Clear skies, temperatures in the upper 30s, winds out of the south. A warm start leads to a warm afternoon. Back to the mid-70s, really feeling spring-like. The wind to thank for the warm-up, but that is the cost of uh, warmer temperatures. Over the next three days, which includes St. Patrick's Day on Thursday, temperatures dip back into the mid-50s. Cloud cover and some rain to blame for that as we get into the upper 50s on Friday. Mid-60s for the weekend, but a bigger jump on Sunday. First day of spring, 73 degrees. Mid-60s back Monday, Tuesday. I guess very fitting for the season change. The waterworks turning back on. Rain chances Monday night into Tuesday. Keep an eye on it.